Urban areas are predicted to become home to two-thirds of the global population by 2025. For people, cities can appear large, but on the scale of weather and climate, cities are small in comparison to mountain ranges, land masses and the oceans, and larger weather systems such as hurricanes. Cities are influenced by their surroundings, with coastal cities such as Shanghai in China experiencing the effects of sea breezes. Research has found that inland cities may also feel the effect of sea breezes for certain wind directions. Cities close to mountain ranges, such as Chengdu, are impacted by their mountainous neighbours. But cities themselves can influence their surroundings and can change high-impact weather hazards, even enhancing those hazards. Cities are also much more exposed to the hazards due to the high density of people in an infrastructure present within. Much of the research into cities is complex, but can be simplified down into a few distinct features. The urban heat island, or UHI, is perhaps the most well-known of all impacts cities have on their surroundings. The air temperature at night in cities is often much higher than the more rural surroundings. This is due to the building materials of the city absorbing the heat during the day and releasing it at night, and waste heat from cooling mechanisms such as air conditioning being released into the environment. Rural areas tend to be cooler, with temperatures increasing a small amount over suburban residential areas and commercial districts, as the anthropogenic heat generated becomes larger the closer we get to the centre of the city. Within the most building-dense area of the city, the difference between rural and urban temperatures peaks. Cooler regions can be generated by large green spaces within the city. The warming of the air by the city can extend up to one kilometre into the atmosphere. Surface temperatures are also higher in cities than their rural surroundings, except for desert cities. This warmth around the city can alter the large-scale wind direction and flow around a city, much like a land-sea breeze. This also aids in the spreading of pollution, modifying cloud and precipitation patterns across the city, and it's also been linked to changing thunderstorm behaviour in a city's vicinity. Couple this urban heat island with climate change, which brings increased global surface temperatures, heat-related deaths in cities are likely to increase alongside other health risks. Pollution may increase and claim more lives, leading to a reduced quality of life for the occupants. Increased temperatures also lead to an increase in energy demand for cooling and could potentially disrupt energy and transport networks due to increased faults, placing more demands on city services. With deadly weather conditions becoming a regular occurrence, meaning it is of great importance to begin future-proofing cities from climate change immediately. Examining how best to adapt cities to climate change is especially challenging, as urban areas themselves will evolve as the climate changes. Successful adaptation strategies for cities require an interdisciplinary approach, involving urban planners, architects, meteorologists, building engineers, economists, and social scientists. Without action and mitigating measures, cities may become uninhabitable. Through adaptation, cooperation and planning, some of these risks can be mitigated. By learning from best practices across the globe, cities can begin to adapt to future climate at all scales, protecting their occupants and ensuring the city is suitable for future generations through the use of green technology.